Hi guys, thanks for watching Food with Len. Today I'm going to make mini omelet muffins and they're just going to be fantastic. So I'm, what I'm using is a six compartment muffin pan and my ingredients here. I've got ham, half an onion that I've already diced and some red bell pepper. Now you can use whatever you want to in this but that's what I, I like in my omelet so that's how I'm going to make it. I've got four eggs here, got some milk, extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper, and baking powder. Now what I'm going to do for starters, I'm going to go ahead and take the bite off of this onion. So I'm going to just go ahead and put that on my cooktop here. And instead of using olive oil in there, I'm just going to go ahead and give it a light spray because I don't want these to be too oily going in. So at this point I'm just going to go ahead and, like I said, get the, get the bite off of the onions and all. So at this point you want to preheat your oven. 375 metric types uh, are going to want to go 180, give or take. So let me let this go ahead and heat up and I'll get right back to you. Alright, I've gone ahead and sweated my vegetables here, which is onion and red pepper. You don't need to use the red pepper, I just had it left over, so that's what I did. So that's all the cooking I need to do on that. So let me just get this out of the way so we can see everything else. Oh, and by the way, I went ahead and uh, cracked my eggs for the sake of time, so you don't have to watch me do all that. And I'm just going to put these over here. And for right now, I'm going to take this out of the pan, put it into a bowl. And I want these to cool down a little bit, so I've got a pretty cool bowl here that's going to help just pull these off, put them into the bowl. Also my ham is cold. I just used like a dinner ham that uh, I diced up very small. So I'm going to go ahead and put my ham in there so that can help to cool it down a little bit too. You don't want it to start cooking the eggs before you get in the oven. So that's just the general idea on that. Cool this off a little bit. Stir it all together. So now I'm just going to give this a splash of milk. If I had to say, probably about a little more than a quarter of a cup. And to that, I'm going to add some baking powder. And what I'm going to add here is a heaping quarter teaspoon. Close to a half, but not quite. Let's see. Adding the baking powder helps it to rise into, in the muffin tins. Now the nice thing about this recipe is if you're intimidated by trying to make a muffin in a pan, you don't have to worry about that because it's just going to happen for you. You know, uh, this is going to cook perfectly and you don't have to worry about whether you flip it over right or whatever. So I'm going to go about a quarter teaspoon, maybe just a little bit more of olive oil. And that's going to keep it, help it from uh, binding to the sides. Now to that I'm just going to go ahead and add some salt and pepper generous amount of pepper. Uh, you can salt these when they're done more so you don't have to go too crazy on the salt right up front. And get my cracked pepper. From there, if you watch my other video I told you my whisk was in the shop. I was just kidding around using a hand mixer. I got my whisk out of the shop so I'm going to go ahead and whisk these up which will probably take a little while. Alright, after a considerable amount of whisking my egg mixture is pretty much ready. You want to whisk that up real, real good. So I'm just going to pour that into a measuring cup for easy distribution to my tins. Now at this point, I'm going to go ahead and lube up my tin, my muffin pan, with some no-stick spray. I'm going to do that over the sink because if I miss, it's going to be a mess. Okay, plenty of lube on that. And now we just start putting it together. Now uh, my mixture is cool. My mixture of uh, ham, onions, and bell peppers has cooled down. So I'm going to just go ahead and scoop into each layer about uh, close to two, two or three te teaspoons. Just eyeball it. You know, cover the bottom and get plenty in there however you like it. And so we just do this for all six. Okay, I've got my bottom layer in there and now here I have some freshly grated sharp cheddar cheese. You can use any cheese you want to. I like sharp cheddar and I buy it in bulk and use it in just about everything. 
So I'm just going to add a layer of cheese to this. Okay, I've got my cheese in now, and now the, the only thing I'm left to do is just pour in my egg mixture. So I'm going to pour it in until I got about three quarters of the way, a little bit more full on each cup. Okay, that's what you want to see right about there. And if you got a little more in one, a little less in the other, you can just take a spoon and kind of even it all out. My oven's preheated. Uh, once again, 375 Celsius would be about 180. So now I'm just going to put these in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. I like my eggs a little more set, so I'm probably going to go with a full 25 minutes. All right, into the oven, and I'll get back with you when they're done. Okay, it's been 25 minutes, and I've taken my muffins out, and I've set them on my cooktop so that uh, I don't burn my counter. And I'm just going to let them cool for about five minutes now, and we'll put them on a plate and check them out. Hi, I'm back. My muffins have cooled, and I've put them on a plate. I also used some of the leftover topping that I had as a garnish. You could also add some parsley if you'd like. Looks really good. Now you might notice there's only five there. Yeah, that's because I ate one. I mean, I just got started and it was delicious. Really, really good. This makes a wonderful treat that you can freeze. You can cook it up later in the microwave. Give it about three minutes. I'm going to go ahead and show you the inside. Right here, you can see while well, the pepper just fell out. But it uh, looks really good. It's nice and fluffy and it tastes delicious. Mmm really good these are awesome now I let mine cook the full 25 minutes if you don't want your tops as brown you can either take them out at 20 or another thing is as soon as the tops start to set up you could put some aluminum foil over it and that way they won't brown up so much on the top anyway I hope you enjoyed this video please leave a comment and if you did enjoy the video and if you do make these and like them please give me a thumbs up please subscribe if you're not already and I hope to see you in my next video thanks